This is a quick tutorial showing you how to use the spiders video asset from LumaBox in your video animation projects. So if I just delete this and start from scratch, if you were to bring in spiders and drag it into your comp and take a look, you might think, oh, you know, why, why do I see all this white? Why can't I see my facade underneath? And that is because this file has been designed to be used with the blend mode multiply. So I want you to select the spiders layer under mode, change from normal to multiply. And there we go. And this will work for also the bats, if you have that file, or the beetles as well, and some of the other creepy crawly files. So one challenge you might face if you're using this uh, multiply blend mode technique is if you wanted to add a drop shadow to the spiders, and I'll show you why that is. If I add a drop shadow to the layer, going to layer styles, adding a drop shadow, Nothing has changed, I don't see a drop shadow. And why is that? Well, that's because it's actually, if I move the layer, if you see here, it's actually applied the drop shadow to the whole layer, um, just to the layer edges. And that's because it doesn't understand that we're only interested in the spiders. So what can we do about that? I'll just undo the moving the position. Um, well. I can, instead of using the multiply blend mode, I can key out the white areas. So I'm gonna change the blend mode back to normal. And I want to key out, or in other words, remove just the white areas and leave the black areas. And I'm gonna do that with the Luma key effect. And nothing happens because by default, the key type is set to key out darker, whereas we want to key out brighter, to change to key out brighter. And obviously this looks awful right out of the box. And just from experimentation, I know that the threshold with this spider's file is good at about 40. So, um, I, I mean, have a play and see if um, you prefer the other um, sort of parameters to be different. But um, I found that, that this works pretty well for, for the spider's file. And now you can see those drop shadows are exactly where we wanted them on just the spiders. So I'll just expand this and, and open that out. Here's my drop shadow. The distance is set to three. I think that's about right. I want them quite nice and close to the spiders. And the size, you can change sort of how soft it is or how harsh and crisp. I think something fairly soft. We just are trying to emulate some little contact shadows um, to give the impression that the spiders are crawling on top of um, a surface underneath them. So now I have my spiders crawling over my books.